Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. And today what I wanna do is go over three settings that will make your Nvidia Shield run faster. We already know that the Nvidia Shield is one of the fastest devices that's currently out. It is a streaming device, it's also a gaming device, but even though it's at the top when it comes to speed, there's a couple things you can do to make it run faster. Now this will not only work for the Nvidia Shield, it will also work for any device running Android TV, and it also works for most of your Android smartphones as well. So we are gonna jump into these settings, but after you try it, let me know in the comment section how much this made a difference for you. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So this is gonna be a very short video. I'm gonna to try to keep it under three or four minutes. So these settings that I'm talking about, they are under developer options and they are gonna definitely make your Nvidia Shield seem faster. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go to our settings and we're gonna go all the way down to device preferences. You are gonna to have to put your Nvidia Shield into developer mode and that's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna click on about and we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna hover over build. Once you over build, you're gonna tap the select button seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you can see that it says you're a developer. We're gonna go backwards and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now under the bottom, you'll see that now developer options is there. We're gonna click on that. And this is where we're gonna get access to so many settings that um, when you get time, really recommend going through it. Um, just everything as far as your storage, your, your Wi-Fi, your input. But where we're stopping is under the drawing menu. And under the drawing menu, we have three settings right here. That's gonna make your Nvidia Shield seem so much snappier. So let's go over what they mean before we turn them on and do a live demo. So the first one is gonna be window animation scale. And what this does, the window animation scale sets the speed for window animation playback. So things like your menus, your pop-ups, transition for this is gonna be a lot faster once we change that setting. Next is gonna be the transition animation scale. So the transition animation scale basically controls the speed of your transmission between screens. For example, when you tap on an option in your settings or back out of a menu, the duration screen is what we're adjusting here and you can see that's also set to 1x. So the animated duration scale pretty much changes the speed of every other animation that happens on the OS. So basically that's gonna cover the rest of the um, animations on your device. So these three settings, like I said, should speed up how your phone is. And what we're gonna do, we can see they're all set to 1X. So we're gonna click on it and we're gonna set them to 0.5. All right, so do all three of them and we'll do the last one. All right, so let me exit out. And um, once I start going through, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So first, just going from here to here, uh, you can see that changes quite a bit. If I click on the setting, you can see how fast that actually went. Let's see if I go into my device preferences, go back. <laughs> it just, it just snaps in a lot faster, guys. Even if I click on developer options, you can see how fast that goes in. Let's try something else. All right, so even going through the menus here, everything looks a lot different. Let's go to Discover. All right, you can see just going between the screens. And I, I challenge you to actually toggle these on and off. And you are gonna notice the difference. It's just everything is a lot faster. And for some people, they might not like it, but I feel like this is more responsive. Uh, let me know in the comment section if this is something you're gonna try. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you ended up going back or uh, if you think this is kind of gimmicky. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.